boy of music? Well, so far we have been doing a lot of um, groundwork instead of like, because the organization, the association was already formed in 2007. Mm -hmm. And basically it all went dormant. So right now we had a yeah. lot of like cleaning up to do. And that's what we've been doing in the past month. So by summer, we have some projects that we intend to embark on. But so far we have been like rooting ourselves on two, on three pillars. You know, we figured that we are here to represent it is one yep. representation in terms of lobbying for policies around music. You know, there's there's a, a loophole in terms of licensing for music. Um in the island especially radio stations don't pay royalties plus um mm. even venues venues of a certain capacity just like how they buy drinks and sell it to make a profit they should be buying music just mm. and and it's even easier to buy music because you just pay like one percent of your profit so whatever you yeah. do you know we're not it's not a ripoff so all these other all these other elements is where um is there to represent right now we have been meeting with officials in the government, Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Culture, you know, speaking about um, the creative industries and the, the, the resources that are available for us, you know, or the lack thereof, and we're trying to change mm. that, obviously. So that's the representation idea of it. Right. Then the other aspect is to educate, because we figure that a lot of, we have a lot of resourceful musicians in Dominica that know, yep, true. that know some of the, the hacks of the music industry, that know what is industry standard, but we don't find that across the board. Like not everyone knows. And I, what my first, one of my first, in the first meeting, I was like, guys, a lot of the times we think that education has to come from outside. Let's go get somebody in Switzerland to come and talk about music, marketing, and all of that. But we don't realize that we have some people here with that gift. And it's either because we have a thing like if somebody too old, we don't want to hear, we don't hear from them, you know. And it, 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 or sometimes the, the person that is old and experienced and doesn't really care about the generations after them. Right, you know? right. So right. we have to bridge that gap where these people have to be willing to, to let go of the knowledge that they have. And us as young persons in the industry need to be willing to also meet them halfway and accept that some of these people have gone out there. And, you know, that, because most of the things I've learned in terms of music business, I've learned it from Gordon Anderson, to be honest, you know. And, oh, sure. you know, this guy... I've met him, I met him just before Hurricane Maria time, like that's, that's been about four years. And the yep. things that I've learned already, like for toying with him and then just being a, a WhatsApp message away, I realized that we have resourceful people around us. So that idea of education is the second pillar. And then the third yeah. one is just a network for us, for, for musicians, yeah. you know, um, we, and when I, I always tell musicians that we are not alone. It's like, this is for music professionals. This is not just about the artists and the band. This is about the sound systems and mm -hmm. the venue owners and all these people that, that come together, the DJs, everybody. This is a, a system and a network and almost like an engine. All parts have to work together in unison for that vehicle to move forward. You know, people when people ask about the engine, then usually they may think about the motor, but your radiator has to be working well. You know, you have to have your transmission. Your transmission has to be working well. Your brake fluid, everything. Yeah. So some parts may seem a little less important than the other, but they have to work together. So we need sound systems, everybody on board, in in um um, so that we can be a network. And that's the importance of the network. So at that point, you know, you don't just feel like you're calling a sound system, but you're calling your brother in amp. You're calling your sister. Right, in amp, right, you know? right. Yeah, yeah.